हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ट्रूथ ऑफ फिजिक्स आज के इस वीडियो में मैं डिस्कस करूंगा कि हाउ कैन यू सॉल्व द हीट इक्वेशन दिस इज आवर हीट इक्वेशन व्हिच इज नथिंग बट पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन हाउ कैन यू सॉल्व दिस टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन यूजिंग अ ट्रिक कॉल्ड फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके नाउ फॉर दैट वी हैव टू यूज दिस टू इक्वेशंस ओके दिस इज कॉल्ड द फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड दिस इज द इनवर्स फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म ओके दिस इज इन पोजीशन दिस इज मोमेंटम स्पेस ओके and this is in position space okay and this is this is similarly in position space and this is in momentum space this is a transformation these are the transformation rules to transform from position from uh, position to momentum and from momentum to position okay now we'll use these two formulas here in this uh, <coughs> video to solve this kind of equation now how so uh, let us proceed um firstly this we can uh, we can we can write this in compact form like u t minus alpha u double x right uh, is equals to zero okay now here these things are function of x comma t main central part of this video is uh, now the central process uh, of uh, this thing is uh, we'll just transform this u x comma t to the momentum space and then do some calculations and then again transform back it to the position space and uh, space and we'll get the solution ux comma t of this differential equation so first we'll just transform this in the momentum space then we'll get something like this okay uh, k comma t minus alpha u double x and then k comma t is equals to zero now <coughs> we have to do one thing that u t what is u t uh, uh, and k comma t what is this we can transform this in the position space so how this is equals to x comma t e to the power minus i k x and t x then minus infinity to plus infinity now this means what we, we can okay here here there, there this is a convention like uh, you can use the 1 by 1 by root over 2 pi in both of these equations okay or or there is or you can use 1 by instead of using 1 by root over 2 pi in both the um, both the transformations you can use 1 by root over 2 pi in any one of them the result will be same it can it can be shown mathematically that the result will be the same so here in this video uh, i will do what i will keep the 1 by 2 pi okay instead of root over 2 pi in both the cases i will use 1 by 2 pi in the inverse Fourier transform okay now <coughs> okay mm then uh, uh, ut i can write is like this u t x comma t and e to the power minus i k x dx integration so you can see this part have no uh, it, it is independent of time so i can take the derivative time derivative out of this integration then u x comma t and e to the power minus i k x and dx so what is this thing from here in this equation from here uh, uh, from this equation you can see that this is nothing but our u k comma t so this is del del t of u k comma t okay so we have arrived something like this this okay now you can you can think that this is not surprising to you but uh, you get surprising results if you do this thing u x x and then k comma t this thing if you simplify this thing then what you'll get let's understand that okay so if you do this then you will get similarly like this uh, using the mm, this formula right Fourier transform u x x comma x comma t e to the power minus i k x and u x 
right then i can write it like this u x x comma t right then 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 we'll do the uh one thing we'll do here that is the integration by parts then what happens assuming this is the first function and this is the second function then first function fixed and the integration of second function that means u x comma t and e to the power minus i k x and in the limit minus infinity to plus infinity now we can just neglect this term all right it's zero this is zero and then minus its differentiation minus i k e to the power minus i k x and its integration the second parts integration and then dx its whole integration so you will see that this becomes i k u x x comma t e to the power minus i k and x then dx minus infinity plus infinity and this right then you can see that here this is double derivative then when we come to this point you can see that this is only one derivative is left so if we similarly expand this and do the similar calculation of uh, pa, um, uh, integration by parts then we will get another i k and we will leave uh, uh, and we are left with u only right no derivative will left so this will become i k square and minus infinity plus infinity u x comma t e to the power minus i k x and x and this is what this is u k comma t i k its whole square okay now let's take the partial differential equation that is our heat equation what was that u t right u t k comma t minus this is Mm, this is our equals to this right this 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 is equals to this we have derived this right u x x k comma t is equals to this so if we plug this plus alpha k square u k comma t is equals to zero equation right first order differential equation so its uh, integrating factor will be what e to the power integration alpha k square and dt right so we will get its integrating factor alpha k square t now multiplies the integrate multiplying the integrating factor with this equation we will get something like this e to the power alpha k square t and ut right plus alpha k square e to the power alpha k square and t and then only u right and that's equals to zero okay now what this means i can compactly write this del del t of u right k comma t and e to the power alpha k square and t you can see that it simplifies to this okay very good now this is simple equation and the solution will be something like this u k comma t uh, equals to some constant e to the power minus alpha k square and t now let's uh, we have initial condition like this um, u k comma zero it's equals to phi of k means at time t equals to zero this function will be this so what will get so you can see that using this initial condition you will get this c to be equals to phi of k right right then uh, we have actually solved this but this is what u k comma t we want u x comma t because our normal heat equation is in position space so we want the position so we can we can see that here we have to use again the Fourier transform formula. So what which formula between these two things? We have to find we have to get this form. So we have to use the inverse Fourier transform. Right. So u x comma t from here 
to get u x comma two, you have to just Fourier transform this u k sorry inverse Fourier transform of this t inverse transform. Now there is an another <coughs> uh, theorem called convolution. Convolution of Fourier transform. So I am just writing the convolution of Fourier inverse transform. So, okay, a property uh, which I am not discussing detailly. I am just writing the formula here. Later, if you want, then you can comment below. I can uh, derive and I can uh, discuss these things detailly. Okay, <coughs> how these things comes in the Fourier transform. Okay, now uh, uh, the inverse for the inverse Fourier. Uh, suppose there is some inverse Fourier. Um, okay, for for this example, okay, the convolution theorem is something like this. If you have two functions, right? These are two functions, and this there is a multiplication, right? So the Fourier Fourier inverse transform of these two functions will be the multiplication of these two functions will be the Fourier inverse of phi of k <coughs> convolution. This is convolution symbol and Fourier inverse of e to the power minus alpha k square t that is the second function now this function will be given in the question so we are assuming this is an arbitrary function so its fourier tra inverse transform will get the position space function okay and its fourier transform we have to calculate using the simple uh, <coughs> formula of fourier inverse transform which i have uh, written above so this is the this is the formula Fourier inver inverse Fourier transform. So we are writing this. So this is inverse Fourier. It will look something like 1 by 2 pi e to the power minus alpha k square and t e to the power i k x dx. So it will get 1 by 2 pi minus infinity plus infinity e to the power i k x minus alpha k square and t and d x right sorry it is not d x it is d k it is d k so it is what e to the power alpha if we have integration something like this it will minus infinity plus infinity to the power minus alpha x square plus b x so its value will be so using using this formula here uh, you can see that here uh, you, you will get something like this 1 over 2 pi and uh, uh, root over pi over alpha what is alpha here uh, alpha here is alpha t actually because we are integrating over dk so this is the thing and e to the power minus v e to the power sorry b square over 4 a so e to the power b square this is b but there is a, a thing here to remind that this is mod of b square okay means i k its mod is k square over 4 a this is 4 alpha t with a negative sign because of this okay remind that this is mod of b square okay in the formula so it will look something like this and if we uh, uh, rearrange this thing we will get 1 by root over 4 pi t and then alpha also e to the power minus k square over 4 alpha and t wait here this is not k um, to the, the because k is the integrand right so it will be x this x is actually x x something like this so it is our it is this right so this convolution with the, its result right its results what is which is what 1 by root over 4 pi alpha and t e to the power minus x square over 4 alpha and t right now there is a convolutions formula so this formula jo hota hai, kya hota hai? if inverse matlab fourier inverse of first okay convolution with the fourier inverse of second 
वो सेकेंड ठीक है तो हम दोनों का फोरियर इनवर्स निकल है ये और ये ठीक है ये दो पार्ट्स का हमें कॉन्वोल्यूशन निकलता है अब इस कॉन्वोल्यूशन का मीनिंग क्या है सपोज ये इसको मैं सपोज ए से डिनोट कर रहा ठीक है ए ठीक है और तो ये ये क्या है ए इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स एंड एंड दिस पार्ट इज सपोज बी इज अ फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स ठीक है तो अब इसका फॉर्मूला कुछ इस टाइप का होता है कि इंटीग्रेशन माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी एंड देन देन इट विल बी ए ऑफ एक्स राइट इट इज फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स बट विल वी हैव टू डू समथिंग लाइक दिस ए नया फंक्शन ए नया वेरिएबल हमें इंट्रोड्यूस करना पड़ेगा सपोज टाओ ठीक है ए ऑफ टाओ एंड देन बी of x minus tau and then d tau इस टाइप का ठीक है तो यहाँ पर क्या आएगा यहाँ पर फाइव ऑफ टाव हो जाएगा राइट ये फाइव ऑफ टाव हो जाएगा एंड देन सेकेंड फंक्शन हम लिखते हैं वोट ऑफर फोर पाई अल्फा टी ई टू दी पावर माइनस एक्स माइनस टाव होल स्क्वायर ओवर फोर अल्फा टी डी टाव ये होगा माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू प्लस इन्फिनिटी तो ये होगा हमारा आंसर ठीक है तो यही है हमारा जो हीट इक्वेशन है उसका सॉल्यूशन सो आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो फॉर गेटिंग द नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ अपकमिंग वीडियोस सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग